sky's the limit for our next guest. She's the youngest professional skateboarder in the world. Imagine being that. Well, she won a bronze medal in Tokyo and has set her sights firmly on surfing and skateboarding in the 2023 Olympics. What were you doing when you were 13? <laughs> I'm feeling very inadequate right now. Come on in, 13-year-old Sky Brown, our youngest summer Olympian. Welcome to the show, Sky Brown. Now, can I just say, was that one of the most difficult things you've had to do there? <laughs> Did we really stretch your talents just then? <laughs> um, how are you? I'm good. Sorry. Oh, but, um... gosh, a bit, uh, a bit too yeah. early for you, isn't it, this? Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Late night last night, was it? <laughs> yeah. Um, tell us a bit about why... So, you haven't been back to the UK. Your dad is from the UK. Yes. Stu. Yes. Uh, and But you haven't been back to the UK, have you? For, for how long? No, I haven't been... I don't know, probably, like, about two years now. Wow. Yeah, I really missed it. It was really hard to come back. Like, we were breaking trips, like, a lot, but because of COVID, we couldn't really come back here. It was really, like... It was really tough to get back. But, yeah, and we were a bit busy over back. summer, weren't you? You were just a little bit busy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, after the Olympics, I kind of... Just went home and, yeah, did some stuff. But I also had some chill time with my friends and family, so, yeah. And do you wake up every morning and think, I'm, I'm an Olympian? <laughs> I mean, what is it like to be an Olympian, to be, you know, the youngest Olympian, to have this record? For me, honestly, it doesn't even feel different. I mean, I still have, like, I'll think about it, like, oh, my God, I have a, you know, I have a medal. Like, that's really cool, but... I honestly just live my, like, I don't know. I don't really think about it. You know, when I, when I was your age, my brother <laughs> used to skateboard and he was really? always trying... Only in the back garden, not like you. <laughs> and he'd always try and get me on it and I was so scared. I just thought <laughs> I was... I, I just felt, no, I'm going I'm, I'm gonna to break something. something. <laughs> you had a really serious accident. Yes. And when I read about that, I, me I remember hearing about it at the time. When was it? It was... Uh, last year. It was May last year. May, in the middle of last year, Should was it? Should we see it? And watch I, this. this is, just watch. I mean, oh, I, I almost don't want to <laughs> see it this? again. Ooh. I don't want to see... Oh, my... Look! Sky, who was filming this? My dad. Oh, I wanted God, to I'm get glad this line oh. and, yeah, it didn't work. So, but... Explain. I mean, that is totally horrific to see. <sighs> Do you remember it? I don't remember being in the air and stuff, but I can remember before, like, before I fell, I was doing this trick. It's called a frontside alley-oop, and you kind of just spin like this way, so you can't see what's behind you. And coming out of it, I kind of just, like, realised I was at the gap and I mm. had to bail off, yeah. I mean I, I mean, I know you're happy to see that. I mean, I was a bit, but you're, apparently you're happy to quite see it. But, but my question to you is, didn't you, didn't you not think, well, that's it, I'm not doing this now. This is it. I mean, I'm only, I'm only 13. This is ridiculous. It's been a bit of fun. I'm, I'm, not, I'm never getting back on a skateboard again. My parents thought that. <laughs> I sure. imagine they probably did. Yeah, they were like, Sky, you're not getting back on the board. Absolutely. And I'm like, how, how injured Accidents did you... Accidents happen, you know? Well, how injured did you get? Because you were obviously in a hospital bed there. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I fractured the school something in my eye or something I don't know but I and did, your arm did yeah you? I broke my arm did something to my rib cracked yeah. a tooth you had lacerations a skull in my head yeah. yeah wow it was bad but I mean and how is it that what's that conversation like with your parents I'm a mum of a nine-year-old boy I can't imagine the terror actually yeah. probably more for your parents <laughs> than for you yeah my parents are definitely scared especially my mom like she just won't watch me skating for anymore. And, like, yeah, my dad is, like, he wishes I didn't skate yeah. for sure. He but you got it from skating. him, didn't you? He was a skateboarder, was he? he is was that a way skateboarder, he's, he's to blame yeah. for this, is he? <laughs> and, now yeah. you, and now you want to surf as well. I said 2023 Olympics, it's actually 2024, aren't they? The Olympics yes. in Paris. So you now want to surf as well. I mean, where's the surfing come from? Why surfing? I live in Miyazaki. Well, I was born in Miyazaki, Japan. It has, they have really good waves there. And my dad was a surfer and a skateboarder. Yeah. So we would, I would just always be at the beach and that, you know, at my dad's new ramp that he built. But your yeah. dad used to surf in the UK? Yeah, he Where did. Where did he surf here, in Cornwall? I think... I don't really you know. You don't know! I think in his, at his hometown and, yeah, I just... Yeah. 
It was my favourite toy since I was a baby. And wow. Yeah, my dad. Uh, just... And uh, you won Dancing with the Stars Juniors. I mean, yeah. you are over. What are you going to do when you were. <laughs> I, I mean, you, so, you, so you want to do. You're going to take up two sports at the next Olympics. Yeah. You've won this show there. How are you coping with all the fame? I mean, I'm okay with it. Since I was little, I just wanted to. I remember just being the only girl at the skate park and stuff, and I've always felt like girls were really scared to do what they want to do. So I've always wanted to inspire, and having a fame, like, I'm really thankful for it, and having people that are supporting me and watching me through my journey, it's just really, I'm really thankful, and I just want to keep inspiring. Fantastic. And, yeah, push boundaries. i got to ask you very quickly, Christmas is coming up. What are you, what are you, what are you hoping for? I don't know. I'm just hoping for, to spend some time with my family and my friends. And Aww. yeah, see, I don't know. <laughs> see what I get. And some nice presents. Do you have family in the, are you visiting family in the UK? Um, I have some family here, but they're kind of all over. Yeah, yeah. all over the UK. Can I, can I just say, Scott, on behalf of Britain, thank you for choosing Britain to be your country <laughs> because you're in a privileged position. No. You could have, no. you could have competed for Jap Japan, possibly even the United States, but you chose Britain. So I believe you said that we, that the, the, the British Olympic Board were quite cool and chill. Yeah, I heard really you. Really chill, <laughs> and I also love Britain. You know, it's it's my home too, and uh, I love it here. Well, yeah, Fabulous. I, I want to make Britain proud. Fabulous. Well, you already I, have. Listen, you carry on going the way you If you're 13 now, you could be running Britain in some years to come. <laughs> well, uh, we we may well need you <laughs> yeah, quite soon. Next year, yeah, exactly. Hang around, uh, Sky, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> Thank you. Well, what a All delight right. to have you in. And, Thank you know, you do so stay well. grounded, Thank no pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. Because fame's <laughs> a difficult thing for Thank young you, women. Thank you, Sky Brown. Thank Good you. luck, 2024.